you are going to love this full body Pilates flow incorporating your glutes, your hamstrings, your obliques, everything you can possibly think of, all squeezed into a tiny little session which is perfect to do just before a run or any time of the day when you've got a spare moment and you need to move. We will start this one on our backs, lying down nice and flat, just with a quick little warm up here for mobility, knees in towards your chest. Tuck your chin all the way in, curling off your shoulders, just a bit of hip mobility to start the session. That right leg will extend, and then that left. So just getting that nice switch, slow hip compression with that leg extension from left, across to right, from left, to right, so see if you can gently start to pull that knee in a little closer to that shoulder. And as you're doing it, just make sure that you've got your lower back nice and flat, your chin tucked. You're here for three, two, and one. Take your hands behind your head and continue that same knee movement from left to right, from left to right. So getting a little bit more warmth, a bit more rotation through the front of the core and those obliques. Just 15 seconds here before we switch it up into the first plank of our class and then hit our glutes. You're here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet come flat, arms go wide, little rock of the knees from side to side, and we flip straight on up into our first plank, just warming up the shoulders, quads, and core a little more. So shoulders stacked over the wrists, feet hip width apart, tighten through your legs. From here, push your hips back towards your heels, stretch, and back into your plank. We hold our plank, come down onto your forearms, up onto your hands, we go again. Push your bottom back to your heels, back into your plank, military plank, switch sides, down onto your forearms, up onto your hands. So we're getting the shoulders, the quads, the hips working here, all the while maintaining that nice torso and pelvic stability. One knee tuck between each military plank, making sure that you're swapping from left to right each time. I find if you squeeze your glutes, you'll keep your pelvis much more steady and make sure you're using your eyes just to the top of that mat to keep that neck long. Breathing here, inhale, tuck, exhale, extend. Inhale, tuck, exhale, extend. Last one here, we finish down onto our forearms. Hold the heels nice and tight. From here we tap and lift those knees. Just 15 seconds, final little round of knee taps. Push your heels slightly back. You wanna keep those glutes nice and engaged, just gently lowering and lifting those knees for six, five, four, three, two, and knees come down, pivoting straight onto your right side elbow. Knees are bent. From here, hand to the hip. Extend that top leg nice and straight. And then from here, pushing through your palm, pushing through your knee, coming up into a hover. Hold that nice long line from your foot to your hip. Lower the leg, lift the leg, then lower the hip straight back down. So we push up through the knee and the elbow, halt, lower, lift, and then slowly descend. So what we're doing here is working that right side glute, but as well the left side glute here, active strength through the pelvis. Definitely a bit of shoulders here as you push up through the elbow, keeping the rib cage lifted. And you'll start to feel the right side and left side deep hip muscles switching on. You've got four more here. Round of pulses coming up, of course, in three. Try and utilize that breath, two. And very last one, hold that very last one up. Finish that last rep, reach your arm up towards the ceiling, 15 seconds here of little pulses up and down. Really small, really controlled, keeping the heel in line with that hip. For 10, nine, pushing up through those ribs, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. You are done rolling straight onto your back. A little bit of a pelvic stability challenge. So heels are grounded, arms reach up, knees bent. Tuck your tailbone. We lift all the way up into a hip bridge right to the top. And then from here, slow marches of your legs. So 90 degree lift, slow lower. 90 degree lift, slow lower. As we lift off the leg, the arms come wide. Opening through the chest, lift 
and close to lower. Open through the chest to lift and close to lower. You want to keep your hips up. You want to keep your pelvis nice and level, not here for too long. Just really isolating that nice slow march. Trying to switch on the hamstrings and whole back side of the body. Inhale, open. Exhale as you close. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you close. Let's go one more each way. Last one to your second side. Little round of hip pulses coming up. Finishing the last one, arms reaching. Tiny little lower and lift of your hips for 15 seconds. Just dropping an inch to lift. Dropping an inch to lift. So really firing up that posterior chain, hamstring, glutes, lower back muscles for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lowering your hips all the way down. From here, we swivel straight on over onto our left side elbow for our right side glute activation. From here, the knees are stacked, shoulder is strong, hand to the hip, right leg long. And away we go. So we push up to that hovering position, get your heel in the line with the hip. We tap, lift, and slowly lower. So it's a nice high lift through the left side, gentle tap to lift and slow lower. You wanna make sure you don't rest at the bottom. You want your left glute and your right glute working simultaneously. So you've got your left glute stabilizing, right glute activating, and also utilizing that left side shoulder strength. So really pushing up through that armpit as you lift. You've got four more to go here before we go for our pulses and see if you can use that breath. Exhale on the way up and then inhale on the descent. Three more here before we pulse. Both glutes working pretty hard. Last two, so you can get these last two really nice form, leg high, shoulders down. And last one, hold, tap. Finish it, reach it up tall, tiny little pulses, 15 seconds here. Short, sharp, and controlled for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You are done. Rolling straight on over into a four point kneel position, cat cow stretch here, just to mobilize that middle spine, hands under the shoulders, toes are tucked at the ready for the next move. Rounding through your spine, lift, and draw your ribs down, look towards the ceiling. We have a bird dog to pike coming up, so neutral spine here. Left arm, right leg extend, hold. Wave the arm to the left, the leg to the right. Slow control back to center position. From here, tuck the toes under, we pike, push the heels back, spinal mobility. Back down into our nice bird dog position. We go right arm, left leg, halt. Wide into the side, use those obliques. Back to center, four point. Lift the hips, straighten the knees, push the heels back, and then back to our start position. So we have three each way. So again, equal parts mobility, strength, and control here. Nice high lift, straight legs, heels drop. And just making sure as you return, you've got your neck long, eye gaze to the top of your mat. You have one more each side here. So you can get a little bit more length of your tailbone as you lift those hips, getting the hamstrings nice and mobile. So last wave to the left and right. Getting a little wider if you can, testing your lateral limits. And very last one. Finishing that last pike, lifting the heels high, walking your hands out into a plank position. And then from here, we slowly descend down onto those forearms, just like we did in our military plank. Pull those heels together, and we have a little bit of a nut push to finish. So your right foot will go to the right once and twice, left foot to the left once and twice, right elbow right knee once twice left elbow left knee once twice we have three rounds here so two toe taps to the right two toe taps to the left and two nice wide mountain climbers right two nice wide mountain climbers left so see if you can keep it nice and steady shoulders strong legs tight 
I guess to your fingertips last round here. Stick with it, two taps to the right, two taps to the left. Last little finisher coming up. Last two mountain climbers to your right side. Last two to the left. And then we come back to midline, hold. Pull your knees halfway down, squeeze your knees and ankles together. You have a 10 second hold. The knees are just hovering an inch off that mat. Shoulders down, eye gaze up. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back up into your plank. Slowly lowering all the way down onto your belly. Hands next to your shoulders. And then pushing all the way up into a spinal extension. Looking up towards the ceiling, you can go a little higher if it feels good. And you are here for three, two, one. Folding down, chin on your knuckles, bend your knees. Nice little sway from side to side. And full body flow, game, set, match, all done. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you go. I hope you enjoyed your session of Pilates with AB. If you did, I have a whole buffet of sessions below, a free trial which includes over 240 on-demand sessions, live classes, small, short, sharp, and snappy little routines to help you run better, improve your posture, prevent injury, and perform at your best any time of the day. Give it a go.